and you guys. We could not check in yet to our campground. So we uh, decided to go for a little hike. Look at that. It's strange. Is that any like old? That they're older, like probably all that stuff like kind of old money and all that shit they build. So we're finding all kinds of hold it still. All kinds of stuff on this trail. So we are at, we took the first water trailhead. It's outside of the Lost Dutchman Park. We are in the Superstition Wilderness. Yeah. Well, this is why, because they have to use a well here. Oh, look. So I was going to say, this is like on the old stuff they build on those derricks that they have for wells and shit. Hmm. There we go. So we're finding like evidence of civilization. It's kind of neat. Yeah, so we couldn't check in because there's somebody in our site still, so we thought, ah, we'll go for a little toot. Actually, we weren't even going to go for a hike because my back is still, or was, really bad. Uh, but I used some CBD oil. I can't remember if I said that in the first video. There you go. So the CBD oil and uh, some Advils and Tylenol, and I'm hiking. I'm sore. Like, I'm not... You know go and help edit for election and you know sometimes i turn the wrong way and it kind of is ouchy but i feel as though like i'm loosened up a heck of a lot more than i was and i'm not sitting like driving so this is a wash with some huge mother boulders in it so and some uprooted trees so this wash roars when it's raining it's just beautiful here, guys. Unbelievable. Up there is uh, Flatiron Peak. Not Flatiron Peak, but Flatiron. The actual true summit is there. So we're kind of along the side of where we normally are. Oh, we only went out a kilometer and a half, so 3K total. It's been kind of nice. We're just taking our time. Got the binoculars, so every time we see a little lizard or something, we take a look in the specs, and it's just friggin' awesome. I woke up this morning, if I would have thought I'd be hiking today, I would have thought no way, because I was so bad this morning that I was just like in tears, but it has loosened up. When I get back to the van, depending on what time it is, I'm gonna take some more pills, slather some more CBD on my back, and Bob's your uncle. We walked by this before, it was like a little hidey hole in the bushes. It'd be a perfect little spot to put a tent. Lord knows what other creatures would come sleep with you in the night, but who cares? See you at the campground. So we just luckily found a diamondback here crossing the road. He stopped because he knows our vehicle's coming. Chris is getting his phone ready. Oh, Chris, you're going to get out? Let's see what he does. So, <laughs> Mr. I'm Afraid of Snakes is getting out. Give it three feet. <laughs> He's afraid of snakes. <laughs> this is the first time ever we've seen a snake. From the safety of our vehicle. <laughs> he is pretty. Look at you. Now he was moving. Do a little tongue flick there, buddy. That's a pretty big one. I want to hear him rattle. Yeah, I don't want to piss him off. Oh, 
here. No, don't keep going, buddy. I don't want you to go into the vehicle and then get run over. All right, let me zoom out. I gotta move the vehicle because he's gonna come under here. Hang on. All right, I'm gonna zoom. Not too close. this time and got site 123 which is like one of the closest loops you can get to that actually actual mountain so we are very fortunate almost as fortunate as seeing that rattlesnake we just saw first time ever alive and not in captivity. coffee while you're looking at that.